Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and another video on how to paint a baby's cot. This time, we're gonna make sure that after your baby has grown out of that cot, that you get years more use out of it by turning it into a craft table. So this is the cot that I started with, the plain white cot. I took it apart again and I started adding lovely pops of color that would look great in any den or playroom. The colours that I chose were from the kids collection for Fleetwood and I got them mixed into the advanced satin wood which has the toy safety certification. And these are the four colours. There are two height settings on a cot. So when you're putting it back together this time you want to put it on the highest setting. This allows you to put two small chairs or stools up against it for the child to sit on while they're working at the craft table. So just pop it together on the highest setting and then I went into my local woodies and I got a piece of MDF in pretty much the exact size, four foot by two foot. I had to take a couple of centimeters off the edge so all I did was score along the edge with my Stanley knife and my level and then it broke off. I then attached the thin piece of MDF to the um, crossbars of the cot using panel pins. Keeping the wooden crossbars on the cot gives you something to secure the MDF to. Also, of course, because you have the crossbars, you only have to use the very thinnest piece of MDF, which is really inexpensive. I think it was about three euro fifty. I then gave it two coats of blackboard paint. Now I just took the back off while I was doing this because it makes it easier to paint and I didn't want to get anything on the, all my new paint on the back spindles. But two coats of that and it turns out absolutely fabulous. The great thing about doing this yourself is in six or 12 months, if they've completely wrecked this blackboard and you can't get it clean so much anymore, just give it another coat of blackboard paint and it's brand new again. Then I just put the cot back together and start to dress it as a craft table. Remember there's a huge amount of storage underneath this table too. If you're only using one side, you can pop boxes in underneath and it still won't take away from putting the chairs up against it. Also, if you had it in the middle of the room, don't put the other side on it and you could have two chairs on either side. There's so many different options of this and then put all, they can use it for reading, they can use it for jigsaw puzzles, Lego. My kids use this for anything and everything for years. That's it for another video tutorial. Thank you so much for joining me today. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please tag Shabby.ie and Fleetwood Paints in any versions of this that you do. And I hope that your kids get as many years out of it as mine did. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe below. And I look forward to seeing you on another video.